but those rents are drastically under market value. So what I want to do is I want to just break down for you what you could anticipate out of this property going forward. So pulling up the chart, we have all four units. We can get 750 in units like that very easily. Or, you know, you're handling your own management, Chris, so you can easily get $750. Big duplex units like this, 750 is the number you should be aiming for. All landlords out there that are watching this just to get an idea on the Cleveland market, whenever Holton Wise, when, whenever we go in and we rent one of these duplex or quad type units, we are constantly getting 750. The the days of renting stuff for 550, 600, those are long in the past. If you have any decent type of renovated unit, 750 is the number you guys should be targeting. So with that, you'd be able to bring in $3,000 a month or $36,000 a year. Of course, not all that's profit. What you could anticipate spending every month, 150 on repairs, maintenance, vacancy and non-payment, and capital expenditures. Now, I already explained the big capital expenditures, the cost of the furnaces, hot water tanks, roofs, and the ages. So it's not like you're spending 150 every month on those items. What it is is you're saving because eventually you're going to have the big $7,000 roof, the big $3,000 furnace, the big $1,000 hot water tank. So you're, you're saving because... Like clockwork, those large, big-ticket charges, they're coming your way. So you need to save 150 every single month in anticipation for those. As far as repairs, stuff doesn't just, like, break on properties, like, randomly or all the time. Yeah, every now and again, you're going to have furnace service calls or hot water tank service calls, things of that nature, but... The majority of the money you spend on repairs is actually going to be you just saving that money every single month because when a tenant turns over, you're going to have to spend, you know, 1000 2000 3000 If they get evicted, it could be worse. Five, six, seven thousand, stuff like that. That's what you're saving for. You're saving for those big, big, huge, like, Big bills, right? So when I do these charts, I don't want people just thinking like, oh, there's going to be a $150 charge in January, February, March, April, May. It doesn't work that way, guys. It's a whole lot of zeros, and then boom, big charges. <laughs>